Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about three tips to help you make money online and build your own brand and we'll talk about those in some good detail right after this intro. This is Ben Arkell with PassiveAutomation.com. On this channel, as you can see, we talk about passive income, with affiliate marketing, everything from email marketing, online marketing, how to generate a revenue online. Uh, you can see on my YouTube video, there's lots of different videos uh, talking about email marketing, affiliate marketing, websites to help your money. So if you want to do me a favor of clicking the subscribe button and the bell notification anytime I come out with a new video, I'd love you guys to check it out. And also, I, I would invite you to go to my channel now, spend some time learning. There's a lot of information on here, and it can help you out a ton. Um, today, I wanted to talk about three tips to help you make money online and build your own brand, okay? You don't want to be somebody else, let's build your own brand and we'll talk about how to do that. The number one tip is creating more content than you consume and this is probably the most difficult for a lot of people. I'm sure you've been in a scenario where you've been watching YouTube or on social media scrolling through and you might see somebody who's having success and you might think, man, how are they so, so successful and I'm not? Well, the first reason is you're watching their content and they're not watching yours, right? <laughs> and so you need to get to a point where you can create content more than you consume. And content is anything that adds value to someone's life, right? And so it can be educational. It could be um, something that makes them laugh. It can make something that helps their relationships be better. Now, to think of that, like what have other people done to provide value to you? As you're going through and looking at social media or watching a YouTube video, reading a blog, what stuff resonates with you and what has provided value in your life? And that's something you can start, use as a baseline to start deciding what content you want to um, provide to people. In the One Funnel Away Challenge, if any of you have taken that, it's put on by ClickFunnels. It's 30 days of, basically they teach you marketing and how to create your own sales funnel. They teach you a lot of incredible things. One of the people on that uh, training, Stephen Larson, every day he comes on and he talks to you about the value of publishing. Publish, 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 right? No one's going to know who you are. Um, no one's going to consume your content if it's not out there. And he actually talks about how the loudest people are the ones who are making the money these days just because by, by loud he means just you can see them wherever you go. And there's ways to do this. Um, publishing blogs, going live on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. I'm also shooting YouTube videos and uploading those podcasts, social media, all those things, especially the ones that hang around. So the YouTube videos, the blogs, the podcasts, those create an online real estate for you where you are, 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 have hooks out there for people all the time to consume your content. And then uh, we'll talk about that this in a minute, but you can then kind of bring them into your um, into your sales funnel. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> another step on creating content that Nathan Lucas says he is on YouTube, his uh, handle is Freedom Influencer. He talks a lot about this, about taking massive action when you create content, okay? A lot of these tips from this presentation actually come from Nathan. Um, he's just a great guy, super smart. Uh, but he talks a lot about when he started on YouTube, he had a goal, like he wanted to produce one or two videos a week, but then he realized that if he wanted to have success and, and expedite his, his success, he needed to take massive action. So if you're starting out or if you have an idea to shoot one YouTube video a week, 
double it, right, or triple it. Just take massive action because the more action you take, uh, the quicker you'll get to your your end goal. Now, marketing profs, uh, it's a handle online for Twitter, I believe. They had this quote that I thought was really neat and useful, helpful. It said, useful and enjoyable and inspired equals innovative content. Okay? Now, a lot of people, as you're going throughout your day, what you can do is just think of things that are happening around you, maybe stories that have happened in your life, how you can use that as useful and enjoyable and inspired content for uh, people that you are marketing to. So you can use those as a base uh, for, as a, you know, something you can use in tutorials, case studies. Oops, sorry. I'm going to fix that on the fly. Case studies, you can tell stories, do demos, shoot videos, blog posts, comparisons. All, all these kind of things you can use as content, okay? Now let's move on to the next tip. Again, this is ways to help you make money online and build your own brand. Nathan mentioned this in his live stream we did a couple days ago is standing for something. And one way you can do this is be consistent in your messaging. So for example, I, every time I start my videos, I talk about how I bend with passive automation, talk about all things passive income, affiliate marketing, how to make money online, um, and when you're consistent in your marketing, this is why, I mean, you'll attract your niche, right? And this is why it's important to select a niche, an area where you want to focus. Um, something that is really important is that as you narrow down and focus, um, people who are seeing your content won't be confused. They'll kind of resonate with you. They'll connect with you the more that you talk about a consistent message over time. Now, something that I think is super important when you're trying to speak to your niche or speak to your market is don't ask your audience to do something you wouldn't do. So I've seen lots of people who, who will shoot videos specifically, specifically, let's say, in like the make money online niche. They'll talk about these dink and dunk ways to make like pennies a day or a couple of dollars a day, and it's something they wouldn't do, right? And so um, the way to really give value to your audience is to never tell them to do something you wouldn't do. Now, I guess there's one caveat, unless you're kind of really upfront with them and saying, you know what, I wouldn't do this myself because I think it's not the best method. If you're really strapped for cash, you know, this is something you can do. People, as they see that you're honest and upfront, you know, they will trust you. Um, it's funny because my kids, I have six kids, and it's so funny because, you know, when they're little, <laughs> they love to lie. <laughs> and I tell them all the time, it's like, if you lie, like, I can't trust you. Like, the next time you say something, how am I supposed to know that what you're saying is true? Um, and I always tell my kids, too, like, you're such bad liars. It's so easy to tell when you're lying. Um, it's funny because I was that kid once. I remember one time my mom was... I had stolen like a pen, I think I a dime from her and she knew, she knew I stole it and I was sitting on the stairs and I had like a dime underneath me and she was right there watching me. She's like, did you steal my dime? I'm like, no, I didn't. And I had it right underneath me like trying to hide. I thought I was the smartest guy in the world. Now looking back and as, adult, as an adult, I'm like, man, I was a bad liar too. So again, don't ask your audience to do something you wouldn't do. And um, the next thing on here is if you do present an opportunity, be open about the difficulties, right? The, how hard it is, how long it will take. Now something with passive income and affiliate marketing, it takes time, right? You're, you're building a silo of online real estate and it'll take time for the search engines to recognize what you're doing and to see the consistency and to see the value that's provided over time and for people to find your message. but. Um, the next thing on here on standing for something is being yourself. So tell your story and don't be somebody else. Don't always try to copy the way they do things. Don't feel like you need to be them because there are some people who are really outspoken, gung-ho, have the best personality in the world, but, and that attracts a lot of people. But for other people, it might be like, man, they're over the top. 
that's not like me. I don't know how they do that. So maybe they might resonate better with someone like me who's not super over the top, um, kind of a little more laid back. And you guys will attract your own audience too. And you're not going to attract the whole world. Not everyone's going to love you, but that's okay. You were meant to reach certain people. Um, and as Marketing Prof said again, good content is not storytelling. It's telling your story well. We all have a story. Um, I got a story. I'm um, working at 9 to 5. A few years back, I had a really horrible situation in the job. I actually had to quit. Um, I was down to... 130 pounds, just had lost a lot of weight, couldn't sleep, was in a really bad situation. And from then on, I kind of realized, you know what, like, I need to get out. <laughs> I need to be my own boss. I need to figure out a way to make money online because I want to be by my family. I want to be with them more. Um, I want to travel. And from, from one of the biggest things for me is I want to make a ton of money because I want to give. Um, and money doesn't change you it just amplifies who you are today and so I try to spend time with my family I try to try to take vacations together I try to give to people as much as I can uh, the last thing under how to stand for something and really build your own brand is content builds relationships and relationships are built on trust and trust drives revenue that's TPLG said that, and that's really important um, because the reason that you're creating all this content, it's so people can know you, know what you know, uh, you can help provide value to them, help teach them, and then those relationships that are built, um, it develops a trust, and people buy from people they trust, right? That's like influencer marketing, that's why these big companies have these people you recognize these actors and people in movies because you're like oh I know them and you feel like an instant connection and you're more willing to buy knowing that they're kind of giving their stamp of approval and it's the same, same thing for you people will buy from you when they trust you uh, and they know that you wouldn't lead them down a path that wouldn't be beneficial for them okay so the last step on how to make money online another well this is just a tip there's lots of tips but this is a big one is Bring your audience into a funnel. So people who are coming to your blog post or your YouTube video or your podcast, you want to capture those people and bring them into your nest, right? Kind of like put your arms around them. Zig Ziglar, incredible sales guy, one of the best sales guys um, in the 20, 20th century, 21st century. He said, you are out of business if you don't have a lead, right? As we're creating this content, it's reaching people. and. Think of it as like hooks to get people into kind of your domain in your area. Um, what you want to do once you have that content out there is you want to capture those leads. And the way that you can do that is offering them value in exchange for an email. Um, now just showing you kind of how I do this. Here's my YouTube channel. There's a video about um, how to get 70,000 business on autopilot. Talks about Tailwind. So I have, um, this is a link where people can go to Tailwind directly, but also I have this link. It says my number one recommendation to make a full-time income online. Click here. When they click there, it goes to a new training, right? It talks about how to launch a proven, automated, and profitable online business without tons of experience or tech skills. So if they click this, bam, for the training, they can put their name in. I get their name in their email, right? So that's something you do. You want to capture those leads in this, this, this system. This uh, it's ClickFunnels. So ClickFunnels is the software that I use to capture leads. Um, if you want to know to learn more about ClickFunnels, you can check on my YouTube channel. There's lots of different videos. Um, but you want that email from that person because People don't typically make it a, buy, a buying decision right away. It takes them a few different um, touches and experiences with the product to want to buy. And so your email list, you're able to continue to market them. Russell Brunson of ClickFunnels has said many times that your email list is your business.
So you need to be capturing those leads, okay? And what you do, like I said, follow up with them. And a way to do that is um, is with an email autoresponder. And there's different email autoresponders, but basically you can have a list of emails and their contacts, and then you can send out like mass emails to them. You can also set up sequences where if they send you their email, you send them an email within 12 hours, and then the next day you send them another email, and then another email, and then another email, and you can kind of set that up one time, and then it'll go automatically in the future. Now, Get Response, Active Campaign, and AWeber, those are three of the best autoresponders. Again, if you have any more information, um, I do actually have affiliate links in my description for those. I can put those down there if you want to try those out. Now, once you have people in your funnel, you need to continue to provide value in products that will benefit them and serve and serve your audience. Let's do this. Serve your audience. Okay, so one way to do this is once you have all these emails of people, what I'll do is I'll say, hey, I just shot this YouTube video. Thought it would be helpful for you. Have some good tips. Here you go. And so you can send them a link to an e a YouTube video or you can send them a link to a blog, blog post or maybe there's an offer that's happening. Right now, I just sent to my audience uh, information about a traffic boot camp that's happening. And I said, hey, this is a traffic boot camp. Boot camp talks about free traffic. It could really help you out. Um, here's how you sign up. Um, and this kind of goes along, goes in line with what Zig Ziglar said once, which I think is awesome. It's kind of what I use to guide me in what I'm doing. He said, you will get all you want in life if you help enough other people get what they want. Well, I think that's wrong. <laughs> there you go. You will get all you want in life if you help other people get what they want. Okay? Um, what you send out comes back to you. Um, okay. Now, if you want, so again, those three tips will help you make more money online. It will help you build your own brand. If you'd like to learn more, one thing I would recommend is there's a 15-day business builder challenge, which is an action-oriented experience that will prepare you to start a business and begin earning money online in 15 days. And it will save you, it literally will save you countless hours and months and uh, even years from sifting through all the different YouTube videos, all the different methods, like people like, ah, do clickbank, ah, do dropshipping, oh, do YouTube, do this, do that, do digital product, ah, all this stuff, right? There's so much information out there. It's nice to have, uh, there's there's a course, it's a 15 day challenge, it gives you all the information in one place. Uh, there's a powerful training video each day and there's um, assignments and content for you to, to do each day. And you also get a business plan advisor, which is really neat. Um, they kind of walk you through your desire for an online business. They ask where you are. Uh, they see what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, and they kind of help you along the process, which is super beneficial. Um, my business plan advisor is Jackie, and we've talked, you know, probably five to seven times on the phone, and it's just good to kind of work with somebody from a third-party perspective that can kind of help you see what you need. And by day 15, you'll be equipped with the knowledge most take years to gain, and it's true. Like, they help you weed through so many things that are just distractions, and you'll have a clear business plan and the confidence to put it to action. So just a couple more things that the Business Builder Challenge will help you do. It talks about the three things that a business needs to really maximize income, uh, because there's lots of ways to make, lots of ways to make money online. Like you can be an Amazon affiliate, you can do drop shipping, you can sell trinkets online, right? But there's three things that you can really narrow down on that will allow you to make lots of income. Because you can be on an Amazon affiliate and making, you know three to eight percent on stuff or you could be doing high ticket affiliate stuff and make 
you know, thousands of dollars on each purchase. And so there's just like a, there's a better way. Uh, in this challenge, you'll also learn about the core four business models. There are actually four business models that are proven to be the best ones for maximizing profit. It talks about a value ladder, and if you don't know what that is, then you, you want to take this training. It, it's really important. It's, it's one of the most important ways, and it ties in with one of with these three ways that business can increase their potential. How to get leads for free. Talks about what a sales funnel is. How to do email marketing, the most effective way to do it, what should be in your subject, what should be in your body of your email, uh, what you should be providing in those emails, how often you should email. This awesome training done by Steph Perez, it's incredible. Like I watched it and I was blown away. I was like, no way. Like I was thinking if I could ingrain all this stuff in my mind and know this, it would just be incredible. Um, and there's a ton more. So there's some additional products. Um, I can show you real quick. This is um, on Legendary Marketer's site. So the 15-day business challenge is put on by Legendary Marketer. You also have a Marketer's Club, which is they termed the Netflix of marketing training. Um, it's a subscription pack. It would package with a lot of training about ads and um, like Facebook ads, Google ads, how to do that. Um, Nathan Lucas actually walks through how he got his, he has 360,000 YouTube subscribers now. They have their weekly Q&A webinars on there, lots of tons of good information. They also have, actually I lied, so the Legendary Marketer Club does not, I was confusing the Traffic Rolodex. Traffic Rolodex has um, how you can learn to run ads on the top plat platforms like Google, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. <clears throat> and then the coolest part, guys, about this 15-day business builder challenge is you actually, once you go through a few days, you'll talk with your business plan advisor. You do have the option to purchase these affiliate, these business blueprints. So there's one for digital products, affiliate marketing, coaching and consulting, and events and masterminds. Um, guys, this is actually the meat of what Legendary Marketer can provide. It's part of their value ladder, right? So they bring you in with this 15-day business builder challenge, which is $7. Once you see the value, um, they then offer you these business blueprints, which are incredible. It's actually um, takes you step by step, gives you a checklist of everything you need to do to get an affiliate marketing business set up. Everything you need to get a digital product out on the market if you're interested in coaching and consulting, everything you need to do, right? And so these business bundles, they're $2,500. Um, but you can actually buy all of them together for like, I think they're still doing this. I hope I'm not misspeaking, but you can buy them all for $2,500 if you go through the challenge and they offer that to you. Now, some people might think, $2,500, bucks, what? So... Guys, this is online education that is top-notch and stellar. Um, it's going to give you an exact blueprint of what to do. I, I think it's interesting. I was watching some video. Ty Lopez talking about a student. She's like, yeah, I'm going to school for marketing. And he's like, how much are you spending? Oh, it's 30 grand a year. And he's like, you're going to spend 120 grand? Oh, yeah. Like, well, what have you learned so far? And she's like, well, I'm two years in. I haven't really learned anything yet. I'm just getting my... Um, General's done, and he's like, "You spend sixty grand, and you don't know anything yet." <laughs> um, it's something that in the fifteen-day business builder challenge, they kind of speak to is our education system, and kind of how it's not really set up for you to have success. It's not really set up for you to make money. It's set up for you to make to have a job, which means someone else is your boss. And anyway, that's not what I want to be part of. I want to be the boss. Um, I would just rather spend, if, if I knew 10 years ago that I, I could have spent $2,500 on this product to set up a business versus spend all the money I did on going to my undergrad at Brigham Young University and then going to my get my master's degree at the University of Utah. Um, 
anyway, my education is important, but I would have considered doing this as a, as something very valuable as well. So I would encourage you guys to take that challenge. Let me jump back here real quick. If you want more information, um, I'll have a link. My top link in the description will be a link to the Business Builder Challenge. And um, like I said here, we'll have this link right here, my number one recommendation. You can click on that. It'll bring you here. You can put your name and email in. And then what it'll do is it will take you to a training where Dave Sharp will kind of walk you through um, kind of what this training entails, give you some more information, and then there'll be an order page. Uh, here's some testimonials. Chris Miles, he's incredible. I actually have his emails coming to me every day. and um, Just lots of people who've had a lot of success in learning from legendary marketing. Again, um, it's an online education system that will help you know how to create your online business. Um, they have everything set up. It's top-notch training. Put your name, address, and again, it's just $7. And then also, if you want more information, you can go to my YouTube channel, under videos, um, just click videos, and then just search here, legendary marketer. And guys, you'll see lots of, I'll give you a review of the 15 day business builder challenge, kind of what um, is in there, more about legendary marketer, another review, uh, how to make money online with this challenge. Lots of good information on here, guys. Hope this was helpful. Hope these tips will help you in trying to decide how to make money online, build your business, and build your brand. This is, um, again, would encourage you to check out more of my videos. If you do the favor also of subscribing to my channel, hitting that bell notification, and we will talk to you guys on the next video. Thanks.